are there any benefits to fasting just one day a week? That's a really good question. And the answer is yes, absolutely, unequivocally. Um, a lot of people uh, have misconceptions about the word fasting and the concept of fasting um, and, <clears throat> and misunderstandings about its definition. Fasting does not simply mean to go without food. That's what most people think it means, but there are many, many types of fasting. Um, uh, all the way up to going without food or water or any type of liquid or consumption. But fasting uh, at the other end of the spectrum could be um, for some people, particularly people who have enormous um, nutritional problems or, and uh, really, really poor diets, for someone to go into uh, abstaining from food can make them violently ill. So when I have people who come to me who want to fast and they're in really poor health or have really bad diets or really bad nutritional problems, um, sometimes I will, I will give them a type of fast uh, tailored to where they're at that could be something as simple as eliminating uh, one category or type of food and for that person, that might be a, an enormous sacrifice or fast. I might put someone just on fruit or just on juices or, or just eliminate uh, meats. Someone who's just a hardcore carnivore, I might put them, their type of fast might just be eliminating meats and just having fruits and vegetables. And that can have profound effects. So fasting doesn't only mean go without food. Also, some people falsely think that if you don't go completely without food and for long periods of time, you're not fasting. That's also not true. Again, and there are many, many types of fasting, and it's best to have, I always recommend um, that if you're doing fasting, unless you're an expert and perhaps you're teaching it, I always recommend people have someone overseeing it, mentoring it, and some experts be able to uh, test or ascertain where your body's at and how you're handling it, um, particularly for longer ones. Um, I myself have done a great deal of fasting, anything from one day to, um, I've done many 10-day fasts and two or three 21-day fasts, I think three or four I've done, and I did one 40-day fast. Um, where I was um, in the beginning doing different cleansing teas and juices and then eventually after the first nine days I was just living on coconut water um, um, drinking four coconuts a day for a few weeks so um, but there are many many types of fasts now back to the root of your question the benefits of a one-day fast um, one of the great benefits um, one of the best benefits of the one-day fast um, is that it it helps um, train people in um, with their appetite, with appetite control, um, and it helps curb some um, excessive or compulsive eating habits. Just to have that fast one day a week, it creates much greater discipline in eating. I mean. Um, in all the things that I work with in, in, in helping people and guiding people's lives, one of the single most common problems um, I come across um, with individuals, the most all-pervasive, one of them is eating disorders um, and, and poor relationship with food. Some of the relationships people have with food, whether it's with sweets, with carbs, with um, uh, junk food, fried food, dairy, uh, chocolate, candies, hard candies. Uh, there are so many indulgences and bad habits people have with food where they really, really do damage to their body and their mind and they uh, can really pollute themselves and injure their organs, their digestive system. Um, also using food as addiction, as crutches, as avoidance. Um, uh, and so... Um, there's an ancient tradition, I believe it, 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 its origin is in Hinduism, whereby one day a week um, um, the devotees and disciples fast in honor of their guru. 
Um, and some gurus will fast one day a week in honor of their disciples. But the fast one day a week for the guru is really, really powerful. And in that day, they're giving up their food um, that day um, in uh, reverence to and in deference to their guru. And then what happens is they, they more powerfully connect with the guru. And with that God-realized energy coming to them and invoking the, the master's grace and blessing... So it really, really attunes people, even on so many levels, to their guru. We've had the tradition here, my ashrams, uh, worldwide, and for years, and virtually no one, to my knowledge, stays with it. They just give it up. But people are robbing themselves unbelievably by um, not adhering to that because they're missing out on a blessing that is so, so profound. So that's another one that you're talking about. Another, if you have a, if you are blessed enough to have a spiritual master, a guru guiding your life, that makes the the call and the the need for and the blessings of having a one day fast a week even more profound. Now, in the tradition, in the Hindu or guru tradition, um, that day is normally is traditionally Thursday, um, but it doesn't have to be Thursday. But again, if you want to link sync up and link up with the collective critical mass of of that lineage and all that energy then yeah thursday is the most powerful day to be doing that if you so choose and if you want to have it another day um but again for people who either you feel you don't have the discipline or your diet's not well enough um at least do some form of a fast one day a week maybe give up animal food or meat or alcohol or just have juices only and juices don't mean smoothies smoothies are not juices it's another another delusion and, and self-deception um, a smoothie is simply blended food juice is the extract of food not blended food so smoothies are not juices people um, but you could do juicing if you don't want to do total abstinence of just having water. Um, but for most people, again, except the most extreme cases, for most people, one day of fasting of just water only has zero detrimental impact, only have positive impact. But again, um, I always defer to your medical um, and spiritual supervision on that if, if in question or if you haven't done any type of fasting before. I always put that disclaimer in because I don't want to see people hurting themselves. And, and I have seen people hurt themselves who just take on things on their own uh, without mentoring. Um, that's also the CYA clause for myself, <laughs> the cover your ass clause. Some people won't say, oh, you told me to blah, 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 and now I'm in the hospital. So no, I said, don't try this at home, folks. Not without mentoring or supervision by professionals and experts who A, know what they're doing, and B, know what's going on with you. Um, so you have appetite control. You have it also, uh, another benefit of fasting one day a week, is connection, deeper connection and union with your master. Um, with the divine also in, engenders and ingratiates, inculcates within people uh, higher levels of detachment, which helps um, cure addiction, not just addiction to food, but all addiction. Um, so it increases your self-discipline, which also helps uh, abate, if not cure, addictions. Um, so lots and lots of blessings. And then, of course, there are the obvious nutritional blessings from um, letting your body cleanse itself a little bit, give your digestive system a little rest, help clean out your colon somewhat. Um, so lots and lots of benefit from, yes, just from one day a week. Highly recommend it. <laughs>